Some of the misconceptions that people have is what's very visual after we've harvested, whether it be a clear cut or where we've extracted uh, a lot of timber off of there, it can look um, not aesthetically pleasing. It's, uh, it can look like a little bit of a scar on that landscape. What people don't understand in general is they may not have seen that site prior to, prior to what's just occurred there. It might have been a result of salvaging uh, a wildfire where there was 100% of the timber burnt. One of the benefits of harvesting those sites is to reset it and, and get a forest regrowing there much quicker than, than nature would have done it on its own. That's encouraging to see. They're beautiful. So this all burned in 2017. It looks like we planted around 2019. So they planted a mix of pine and fir in here. Um, lots of fur babies coming in though. These guys are doing really, really well. It is a challenge with our, with our plantations and what species we put back in different places to kind of use your crystal ball and figure out what's going to grow best there in the future. They have different growing styles, so pine will often take up first, but then fur will overtake it in the end. There is a role for forestry and, and harvesting to be able to mitigate some of those effects of these large wildfires. We know that reforesting these sites will sequester carbon and taking some of the, the damage stands out, thinning out, creating more stand resilience stands for the future. And also reforesting some of the sites will, will be a benefit uh, overall for carbon. Like 35 centimeters. Yeah, that's impressive. As a professional forester, all of us want to see the forest move forward in a healthy way into the future for our families. So we have so many experts in how to regrow a forest and all the work being done to watch how climate change is impacting our future forests and what we can do today to facilitate a better, healthier forest tomorrow.